All right, TJ, thanks. We do have team coverage of the severe weather alert. Down in South County tonight is Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin with Breaking News 1 on the shoreline where mines are going back to last month's weather event. Eric? Yeah, Jared, the wind gusts have noticeably picked up down here in Narragansett since we've been here. Nothing crazy yet, as TJ's been saying. It's still early. Just down the road here, down Ocean Road, is the Coast Guard House, and they say that while, you know, they're, they had the last storm, they are ready for whatever comes their way with this one. As the most recent round of rain and wind approaches, we folded it up, took it in, it's up on the deck. Memories of the October storm are still scattered around. A damaged siding and a hole in the fireplace on the patio, just some of what remains. Last storm was very windy, high tide, uh, took away some of the furniture on the patio, washed it down here onto the rocks. Coast Guard House co-owner Robert Leonard says lessons learned from the last time are now coming into play this time around. With wind gusts of more than 50 miles an hour possible, he's not taking any chances. All the patio furniture has been removed or pushed into piles as far away from the water as possible. As you can see, these patios are pretty much cleared of all the furniture and we, we got things out of what we hope is harm's way and uh, we'll see what happens this evening. Walking around surveying some of the damage from last month, the rain and wind continued outside, and inside it didn't seem to slow down business. In fact, doing just the opposite. When, when there's some wave action and wind action, people come out to see it, so they can see it here from the windows. And during the October storm, the restaurant lost power for about 24 hours. Again, widespread outages are not expected with this one, but we'll see what happens. In Narragansett, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.